Vrinangaya Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Okay, on to the next video here Continuing on from the last mantra where we had Gana Teda Gana Tuk Teda Kita Gana Teda Kita Gana Teda Gana Tuk Teda Teda Gana Then the next part of this mantra So we were talking about Gare last time Gana Teda Gana Gana Teda Gana Gana Teda Gana Gana Teda becomes Gana Teda becomes Gare G H E R G A G E becomes Gaina. Gare, Ga, 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 Ga, if you do that twice, gana teda gana gana teda gana, you only have six mantras, but we're in Das Beheritol, so you need eight. So the next part of the mantra goes gana teda gana gana teda gana. Um, let me see here. Gana teda gana. Gana tere gana ta a. Gana tere gana gana tere gana ta a. Gana tere gana gana tere gana ta a. Now that's pronounced. Well, let's just practice that first. So it's gana tere gana gana tere gana ta a. Gana tere gana. Six, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gain a tete, gain a gain a tete, gain a ta. Or how was I counting it before? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I don't actually know how to count it like that, but, um, Gain a tete, gain a gain a tete, gain a ta. Gain a tete, gain a gain a tete, gain a ta. Gain a tete, gain a ta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gain a tete, gain a gain a tete, gain a ta. So when that becomes double speed, um, then it becomes ger ge ger ge ta. Because each gerga is gana teta gana, so you have two of those. Gerga gerga ta, 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 gana teta gana gana teta gana ta, gana teta gana gana teta gana ta, gana teta gana gana teta gana ta, gana gana teta gana teta gana ta. So when it's faster, then you go gerga gerga ta, gerga gerga ta. So we've got that. Gana teta gana gana teta gana ta. So then the second part, so this is pronounced, so you're going to say it ger ge ger ge ta. Now look here, when you're in double speed, you're going ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. Only on two mantras. Ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. But look at Ger ge ger space ge ta space. So the ger ge ger, that second ger, gena ne de gena gena ne de. That nele spills into the second mantra, so you're not actually having the second part that's on beat. So it's ger ge ger. See that 
Ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. So the ger spills in to the second beat. Ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. It's not ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. See, that's different. It's ger ge ger ge ta. Ger ge ger ge ta. So that second ge, you'll see this written out, is not on um, the actual beat. And that took quite a while to figure out and write these out because none of these were given to me um, in this form or in tall. But uh, you just have to listen and play it and then figure out how it fits in terms of uh, time signature. So, gear, gear, guitar, ah. Gear, gear, guitar, K. Now we're on to the next mantra. First much is ger ge ger, second geta space geta space for four quarter notes. Then ki space gudiger. Ki ge ki. So this could be ki ki gudiger. So for each mantra here in um, Laya Jati, which is Chatur in this particular case, we have um, written it out so you can see in double speed, you have space for four things. So you could go ki 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 in the time span that you go ke gurugur, or you go tini tini, or dagi te te. Dagi te te, so there's four hits. Dagi te te, which in within the one mantra. So you're always looking. So if you have K and Gudugur, when you're going Gin in the Gaina, this usually takes up two spaces of going Ki Ki. If you divide your mantra into four um, equal spaces. <coughs> So we only have three things. We have K and we have Guru and Gur. Guru Gur take up two. K is taking up one, and then there's a space. But you can do different things with this. So you can go K space Guru Gur. K Guru Gur. And you can go Ki Ki Guru Gur. So you understand that space. Ki Ki Guru Gur. But you can also go Ki. So you can let that. Um, K, pause, K, A, and you can take an extra chord, or an extra eighth note, so you can break the Gudiger, and instead of playing it in terms of um, a quarter note, you can actually play it in an eighth. So you can compress it and leave a longer space, and then go Gudiger, which will be even faster. So listen to the difference. So that K, K, Gudiger. Is regular, but now listen. So you go faster. You leave a longer space so that you have less time to go get in a. So and you can use that in any mantras anywhere in um, kirtan. You can compress that gudiger. And the last part is just day day. And I'm just gonna write this out so that it's got the right spacing. So it's day a uh, day a, uh, or day space day space, because again we have one two three four within the matra day a uh, day a. Uh. So it's gain and again 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 a ta k gudugur day day gain and again 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 a ta a k. there because I'm only playing in um, half of what we're going to be playing in but just so it's slower for you Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Rama. 
Gene te de gene, gene te de gene ta ke, gure gure de, de. Now in double speed, it's pronounced gerge, gerge ta ke, gure gure de, de. Hare Krishna. Too, like you can use it in kirtan just pick bits and pieces of these um, mantras that sounds really cool Hare Krishna. Pressing it, I've switched it, so now I'm playing the K at the start and the Gerga Gergata at the end, and it's just a uh, four mantra mantra. So that's pretty cool. Lots of things that you can do. You can mix and match, and uh, you know, extend things and play whichever wherever. So, so so far now we've learned the first part. So that's the whole mantra um, played properly. You play the Ginata the Ginata once, then two times the Ger Ge Ger Gita Ke Gur Gur Day Day. Another thing <coughs> to note is this is also teaching you to go from single speed to double speed. So you're going from Ginata the Ginata to the Gita Ginata. This is single speed, right? Now the faster you play that, the faster the Ger Ge Ger Ge starts. So when you're first practicing, you can go really slow, like gain it, 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 gain it, up, it, 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 right? But then you go gain it, 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 it,
Open it. Yeah, yeah. Kick, kick, kick. So now we have Gina Tilla Gina Top Tilla Gita Gina Tilla Gita Gina Tilla Gina Top Tilla Tilla Gina 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 So we have ger ge ger ge ger. Before we just had ger ge ger ge, and then a ta. Now we have ger ge ger ga. We had ger ge ger ge ta a. That ta a is now taking the space of another ger, and we're learning to build um, a larger mantra here. Now that ger is actually something different. So to teach you, initially we're gonna go. Um, ger ge ger ge drege, so that ta a becomes drege. Now, when you're practicing de de ge na te de ge da, de de ge na te de ge da, this helps you to build up that speed, so that now you can instead of going de de ge na quickly, now you go dre. So it's um, let me see here, de de. And double speed. Dre, 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 de, dre, and double speed. Dre. And instead of going gaina, you're just going ja. So you're cutting out. So it's just dre, ge, dre, ge, and that ge is actually a da. Dre, da, dre, da, dre, da, dre, ge, dre, ge. This is hitting at the same time. We use this all the time in, in um, so many different mantras. Feels kind of weird, but um, when you're playing really fast, it kind of takes the place of um, Gudugur in a lot of places because you only have three hits now instead of five. Gain in the gain a drake. Sounds very similar, but it's kind of like a cheat code, and um, it's not wrong, but it's it's used all over um, Rayla mantras and fingering mantras and things like that. Lots of cool D highs and stuff. So now we're going gear ga gear ga drake gear ga gear ga drake. That thumb stays there. Get in it again and get in it again and drink it. Get in it again and get in it again and drink it. Get in it again and get in it again and drink it. 
So that's cool. Gear, 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 gear. Now the next part is called gear, 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 gear. But what the hell does that mean? <laughs> so it's totally different from any of the other gears. So actually, <coughs> I'll teach it to you like this first. Um, so it is actually gear, gear, again, gear, 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 gear. Now we were going like gear, gear. Gear, 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 ta, right? We combined it for eight. Here, now you're just playing, um, let's see here. Yeah, gear, gear, gear. Gain it, day, day, gain a day. Gain it, day, gain a day. Gain it, day, day, gain a day. Gain it, day, day, gain a day. Gear, gear. And there's no space or anything like the other one. It's just gain a day, day, gain a day. And when they're in double speed, it says gear, gay day, gear, gay day. This takes up one mantra. Gear, gay day. Gear, gay day, 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 gear, gay day. Gain a day, day, gain a day, gain a day, day, gain a day. Krishna. that now phrasing now when you pronounce that um, in a lot of mantras it is just gear gay day so gear gay day, gear gay day. now what's happening there this gay is emphasized gay gear gay and only the top hand so when you're going day in this particular mantra only the day is emphasized or sorry only the top tay is emphasized not so you're not going gear gay day you're not emphasizing this hand, it's gear gay day, gear gay. See, this hand is not strong on the second um, day. This is, so it's gear gay. So it's this gear gay day, gear gay day, gear gay day, gear gay day. So you're getting the power of the gear. Gear gay day, gear gay day, gear gay day, gear gay day. But this other stuff being played in the day, you're still playing. So it's like gear gay. It's hard to to show gear gay day gear gay day gear gay. <laughs> I can't do it without playing the whole mantra. But you get the point. Is um the the um the sec or the last day? Only this part is strong. Gear gay day gear gay. This takes an immense amount of practice to separate your brain out from because everyone just wants to go day day like equal pressure on both hands but now you're learning that there's even further nuances to murdanga you're not just day is not just always day day can be day can be very light here and very strong up here and vice versa um when you're going da din there's a da din da 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 used all the time da din da 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 so again people will go da din you have to hear this strong one finger um t you know t me t me t da din but it's actually da din you don't make a sound here actually it's very soft all you you just da din you hit this strongly but this index finger barely makes any noise it just just makes the movement so that you're on speed with your mantra but you're not so there's all these little things to consider and um it's really interesting because when people play miranga um you know speed and power and making a whole bunch of noise is considered um you know to be something of an opulence in ISKCON. But um, to someone who's studied Murdanga a little bit and seeing it, you know, no one else understands. But you look and you're like, oh, well, you know, like 
there's so many things that are being missed here and so much of the beauty of Merdung is being missed and all the different nuances. So it's nice to at least be aware of these things so that um, you can make it as an offering to Krishna and um, improve your playing drastically, you know? So, so we have Ger, 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 then the last part, Ger Ger, again, we're using Ger for everything here. It's the only mantra probably that you're ever going to learn that's like this very weird. I didn't feel like rewriting it because it is difficult to say um, certain things here and it just flows better. Um, most things I am changing, but this one is just so unusual that we may as well keep it. <laughs> So we're going Ger 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 So I'll get to that. So this Ger Ger Day is actually pronounced Ger 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 Ger. Last part Ger Ger. Now what's Ger Ger? We're not playing Gena Day Day. Ger Ger. We're playing Day Day Gena Day Day Gena. Ger Ger. Day Day Gena Day Day Gena. Day Day Gena Day Day Gena. So easy. Dilly gonna dilly gonna now is gear gear. Gear gay day. Gear gay day. Dilly gonna dilly gonna gear gay day. Dilly gonna dilly gonna gear gay day. Dilly gonna strong strong. Gear gay day. Dilly gonna dilly gonna gear gay day. Gear gay day. Gear gay day. And you get a little wind up there. Help see the balance. Your whole body needs to be balanced when you're playing Murdanga. Um, the impulses from the body need to be generated prior to the sound, you know? So, Boom! Te! Strong! You should be able to make strong sounds. Being loose helps with this, right? So you've got this power and you're loose. If you're really stiff, look. It doesn't, you can't really generate power from that. You have to be very loose. From loose, looseness, you can generate more power. Plus your hand is less in plane. So you've got more space for the center of mass to come. If you're like loose, then more of your hand is set back to if your fingers are a little curved and stuff like that. So, Guinea to the Guinea, Guinea to the Guinea, Guinea to the Guinea, Drake, Guinea to the Guinea, to the Guinea, Guinea to the Guinea, Drake, Guinea Let me get this in single speed. Guinea to the Guinea, Guinea to the Guinea, Drake, Guinea to the Guinea, Dow to the Guinea. So that's the whole mantra. Hare Krishna. So there's more to this, but um, I think we'll leave that till next class so it doesn't get too overwhelming. So we'll just start with this. This is a whole mantra that can be played um, in 16 mantras, so from starting from Hare Krishna or from Hare Rama. So we have Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh -huh.
forgot actually I wrote each one of these. So this is actually um, a 64 matra diha that I've put together. Um, so this actually starts from Hare Krishna, goes through to Hare Rama, then starts from Hare Krishna and goes through the Hare Rama again for the second part that you haven't learned. So let's start it. I showed you originally, but let's go through it again. So we're studying Hare Krishna, and we'll end through the whole thing, 32 mantras. Hare Krishna. Cool. So that's a 32 mantra D high um, with a little nice little single speed intro there. And then as we learn the second piece, then you'll have a 64 mantra D high where instead of playing Jata Te Te Ta with just a simple like 16 mantra D high or even an 8 mantra, um, then we can go into uh, a 64 mantra D high, which will be super cool. So work on that. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, we'll look at this again next day and continue on in this mantra. Hare Krishna.